Yeah, g'day guys, James Fawcett here, and I just want to say a massive thank you for watching this video here on YouTube. Really excited about this one. This here is a masterclass that we did back in 2020, and it's still very much um, relevant to today. Um, this is still very much um, just a bit of a basic overview and training on how to set up your own uh, lead generation affiliate marketing business and promoting offers to your list. Um, this Trading actually goes through everything step by step. So going through creating opt-in pages, your bridge pages, sending traffic, setting up your tracking, um, using um, tools such as ClickMagic, etc. And basically by the end of it, you should actually have a you know a really good lead generation funnel moving for you as well. So guys, down under the description, I've set out the tools that I've used in this video. Um, I do use ClickFunnels. I do use Aweber um, and also um, there's a link to system.io. So if you're looking for something that's a one-stop shop, um, that is also a good resource that you can plug in as well and follow the training in that. Um, and you'll be able to set up a lead generation funnel, whereas, you know, you can start off for free and then you can, as you grow, you start paying your monthly um, fees in terms of the cost of the tool. All right, so guys, thanks again for watching this as well. This is a special treat. We actually charged um, $147 for you guys to, um, or for the, for those that actually attended this class, we charged them for $147. And you guys get this complimentary here on YouTube as, as a thank you for being a subscriber. So guys, if you do like this video at the end, um, or you're going through it and you wanna come back, make sure you subscribe down below and save this video to your favorites or to a folder that you use to come back because it is a long one. It goes for about two hours. Um, so no joke. And also this was done with my previous business partner, Mark Barrett. Um, so also credit to him for, you know, putting, you know, putting um, in an effort in this call as well. So guys, thanks very much. Um, and I'll let you get started and watch the video. Cheers. It's a good name that I reckon. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're right on 11 there. What is it, Eastern, mate? Is it 9? Uh, yeah, it's 9 o'clock here. Just to say, we'll participate screen sharing. You will have to enable me to be a screen share, mate. I'm trying to do it, and it won't let me. Uh, good looking. You might have to turn the video on, mate. Yeah, I can't do that either. Oh, it a, you cannot start your video because the host has stopped. Oh, hang on. Right, so you're the host now, mate. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's what Dan had to do the same thing when I did that thing with him. Yeah. All right. Share screen. Make sure I give you the right one. Why are we, mate? So I'm assuming you guys can see my screen now. Yeah, mate. All good. All right. So, guys, uh, big welcome and thanks for taking on the masterclass. Uh, Mark and I are pretty appreciative you guys, you know, made the investment to come and, you know, join us and check out how we actually go about this live. Um, what you're seeing in front of me is pretty much my live dashboard right now. Um, so, yeah, in the last, you know, 30 days, I've done around about 21 grand. Last seven days has been a pretty big one too, 12 grand. It's probably one of my biggest weeks. And, um, you know, it's just been real, sort of like, you know, scaling up as well lately in terms of, and we'll show you how to go through that, um, really popping up in terms of, you know, maximizing your profits in order to leverage and grow as well. So. The whole point of this masterclass is to, you know, to teach you there's, um, there's no real quick fix 
to it. Uh, it's about maintaining consistency, sticking to one strategy first and foremost. And I think the Warrior Plus platform gives you the best opportunity to start leveraging uh, and getting commissions, um, you know, pretty much from the start. Because, you know, you see all those MLMs and people get into it and they make the promises and whatnot and they end up being a recurring and, you know, trying to get people on a recurring and sticking to it is pretty difficult. So with the Warrior Plus platform, about 99% of it's all one-time costs. And, um, yeah, so she's she's a bit easier to, in terms of get like, you know, getting people through the door and onto the upsells. So that's probably where the biggest, the biggest bucks are made is in the upsells and getting through that front end. And I think that's the easiest part. Usually you're selling the product for 1295 and then letting the sales process do the works a lot easier. Um, so that's where, you know, a lot of the vendors pay top dollar to get these sales pages made. And I think that's where a lot of the affiliates had a lot of success with the breakout code as well, is that we really invested in, you know, the sales pages and, you know, it's it really showed as well with, with the, what was it convert mark like 22% something crazy like that on the conversion. Yeah, mate, even which, still which like heard of on the launch. Yeah, so, it's still going at 18% after old shitty traffic as well. So yeah, it's yeah. doing very well. Yeah, so no, um, that's and that's where the whole process really lets you sort of gets a little bit more automated for you and takes it out of your hands once you get someone through the door. So right now, I'm going to show you the, um, you know, we're in Warrior Plus. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with it, but just for the sake of it, I'm just going to go through it again really quickly. Um, and, you know, so you guys can navigate how to find decent products, who the good vendors are, and also how you can go about getting approval because I think getting approvals the hardest part and that's where we've given you guys the opportunity to promote the breakout code uh, in order to get your leg in the door and start building up affiliate school, getting some sales in. And that's where, that's what people really look at as a vendor uh, when approving. So uh, we really want to get you guys going on that. So uh, where we're going in here, we're in the affiliate uh, offers right now. And we're just going to jump down jump over here and this is where the most the first page is the most recent one most recent launches which probably the you know the biggest activity right now and like as you can see uh, Billy Dar just released a product called Genie called deal of the week um, and he knocked over 3,000 units which is an absolute crack of a launch and he actually had a pretty good converting OT, uh, upsell as well so when you actually sort of look for products, you want to look around um, and you're beginning, you sort of want to like, they probably won't approve you during launch. Uh, they'll probably approve you after because they like to keep their conversion rates. Uh, but what happens is, is that you want to look for something with 20 units sold, the hop count, this is the rating or the hop rating over here. And you're looking around about 160 um, on that scale there. And it's got a really high visitor value, so um, which is earnings per click. So that's a really high, like usually you, you, a lot of them sit around and probably around about three dollars, two dollars, even more. But five did five dollars an absolute cracker. Um, so what you can actually do is that you can sort of go in there and you can request to get approved, and you'll be able to once approved, you'll be able to promote that. So Billy actually had a pretty good converting one, didn't he? Uh, yeah, mate. And that's something. Um, that's something you'll get to know as you move forward as well. Like, who are the vendors that are doing well? So Billy at the moment is probably the top dog, the top launcher. So you'll find generally that when the big dogs are launching, and you know that they generally do well, if you get out in front of it, you know, set your promos up early if you can. That's if you're doing like, you know, pre-sales and reviews and all that type of stuff. You generally tend to do uh, fairly well. Um, and yeah, like I said, you just get to know who the who the top dogs are and what they're doing. But each offer is different. You know, they all go to their merits. Like you can see there, James has got 
uh, the top five offers. So this is like the pulse score. Um, so that basically just tells you, it's sort of like ClickBank's gravity. So essentially it just says, you know, what's the most promoted product of the time at the moment. But, you know, you can see ours there with numbers. You got 18% conversions, $5.10, you know, which is pretty good. Low refund rate, all that stuff. So with the breakout code, it's a little bit different in that um, me as an affiliate, when we're product creators, you know, doing recip and all that sort of stuff, we're looking at much higher and the leaderboard and like, you know, trying to find something that we're sort of promoting every day where the breakout code's a bit more about running funnels to one or two offers that convert pretty well, eh? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, um, so yeah, the whole point of it is basically you sort of look, you want to look for something that converts and obviously um, something that sort of like evergreen starting out as well because mm. there's at the moment there's a lot of softwares out there that can outdate pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, so the beauty about what we've created with the breakout code is that we've actually created something that's an evergreen process. I think it's been used for ages, mm. but I think what I've done with it is pretty unique. So that's what I've released with that. And um, we'll be able to give you guys, um, if you haven't applied for it, the guys are in here. Um, you know, I think we could probably throw in a guaranteed approval on that, I think, aren't we, Mark? Yeah, mate, yeah, for sure. So we're definitely gonna um, throw the guaranteed approval into you guys. So you guys got something to work with. I know a few of you got it already and probably even got the license rights, but for those that haven't, um, yeah, guys, we're gonna definitely do that. So if you're gonna apply for it, you wanna jump over here and grab your link. It will be like request if you haven't got it. And then um, just let us know, just put like masterclass as the, or breakout masterclass as the keyword. Um, so you wanna go, I'll just pretend that this is uh, the breakout code applying for it. So just go and then just type out, type in breakout masterclass, all one word, if I can spell. And then uh, just request the offer and we'll get that approved for you as quick as we can. Make sure you do that on our offer. He just showed you on another one because he's already approved for our one. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So um, maybe if you want to show stats, mate, just to show them how well that is converting. Um, because you know you're you're sort of running paid traffic, like you're actually like living and breathing what you're telling people to do here. So if you want to show them, you know how well you're doing on it. So in the stats department. So right now, today, well, I'm running cold traffic to it, guys. So remember that. So probably today is not my best day, but we'll run it back to when the breakout code came back. Yeah, got your mark. And yeah. So since, um, so I've had in the last. What are we, a week in? Just over a week. A week, yeah. So I've done in affiliate sales, I've done just nine grand, just under nine grand. So I've done over 200, 200, no, 210 sales, 2%. Uh, it's all coming from cold traffic. So solo ads, which is about, this is about my standard rate. And then when you're running solo ads, that's about, it's about normal. Um, so it's just about, about matter about sticking to it and, you know, connecting with them. So I've done nearly it. What, 5,500, 5,600 there. Yeah. Um, we sold a couple of high tickets there too for Gono in his Ministry of Freedom. Uh, done, you know, 53. It's converted pretty well with um, Billy Z. So I've made like 700 bucks for that. You know, I've done pretty well here with James Reynolds offer. And we've done nearly 300 bucks there. So, yeah, it's really... Um, a, like a good way to you know start getting in the door and being able to run some cold traffic too. Um, the sales page converts pretty well because it was like it fired it went off pretty quickly when I started promoting it. Just our own rocket to my list, yeah. so it's obviously something uh, people are looking for. And so, for you too, like the dollars, the dollar per sale, you know, like it, it's getting quite a good amount of upsells with his traffic there as well. So. 
um, you know, that's just allowing him to make that type of money. So, you know, it looks like he's running a shitload of traffic there with 12,000 hops. But, you know, a lot of newbies would think, oh, my God, you've bought 12,000 hops. But that's not actually the case. You know, he's maybe brought a few thousand, maybe four or five thousand. But, you know, you've got email follow-ups and whatnot as well. So that people are like, you know, hitting the offer three and four and five and six times. Um, yeah, that stats are a bit weird. It never shows how it should, though. Yeah, so this is here. It's showing. So you can sort of break it down as well to see where it's at with the upsells as well so like on top of the like 129 on the front end 36 units on the cash on demand um and that's not the downsell either that's the at the 37 price six of the 197 a little black book i've done 12. so as you can see there like i've i've cashed in on pretty much on every upsell there so She's, yeah, no, she works well, guys. So once you be able to start plugging that in, you'll really be able to get some traction and get a few sales under your belt, I think. Mm. Because, yeah, I think even a few uh, new people that have applied, uh, you know, for the, for the uh, affiliate link, they've already started getting some sales, which is pretty positive so, for them. All right. So uh, might start getting into start building the opt-in and bridge page from scratch, I think. Yeah, you might. Why not? You got anything else you want to go, Mark? Um, no, I think, mate, I think the, the main point that we're trying to make here is, um, you know, just pick one offer and stick with it. Like, you may, generally speaking, when we started out, you know, you've got to test a few offers. So we've sort of done the testing, but now we know James, as you see there, James has already done the testing for the breakout code. And that's why we recommend and promote that one because we know that we, like it's my offer, I control who gets, um, you know, approval for it and that. So we can make sure that you get approved for it essentially. And yeah, you know, just go from there. But that he's actually the perfect start. See how James has got, we're talking about 209 units on the breakout code, but then you look at the loss code, he's got 3,000 units. It's essentially just the same exact process, just done over time, really. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, you know, the, the point is grab one offer there and run the system and, you know, before you know it, you'll be pumping out fucking $82,000 on the loss code or on the breakout code, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, no, this was like, it was one of the products that started to convert well at the time for me and yeah, it just took off. So yeah, pretty, pretty lucky to have that there. Yeah, so I think ours is like, even ours is like converting on the upsells better than that right now. So mm. forward to that continuing. All right, so guys, uh, I think, yeah, so the next thing to do, we, I think we're gonna go into like, you know, we've talked about getting the affiliate link which is probably the number one thing that you need to do before you start doing anything um so right now i'm going to jump in and i'm going to just you know build up like an opt-in page and bridge page to suit um so i'm going to create a, you know i'll create a one from the scratch with a breakout code and you'll be able to see it live rather than in broken up sections so you'll be able to you know get the whole experience in one on how i go about it on a daily so I'm just going to jump over to this whole thing. Just keeps popping. In. There we go. I might just have to shrink that a little bit so I can get in there. All right. So I use ClickFunnels. It's my primary one that I like to use. Um, the reason why is because I can quickly build a funnel. It gives me adaptability in terms of being able to use different templates. Um, and that I can skew them in a way that I want to, um, which is probably the best way. I usually use one template and I just mold it to what I want and it usually converts out pretty well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and then we'll jump in and then we'll build a, you know, a, like a decent video sales letter and I'll be able to share you the share code on this as well. Um, and I'll give you my, email so you can shoot me or most of you have my email anyway so if you want to jump into the last email that i sent you today 
uh, just reply to it and say, James, can you shoot me the email or the share code? And I'll be able to uh, send that over to you and uh, you'll be able to grab that and plug it in yourself. Um, and you can change it, chop it, change and chop it however you want. But um, yeah, how I started doing this, it's really how it works. So, so first of all, you want to jump into click funnels and you want to click up here when you log in and you want to go to funnels and I'll take you into this page and you just want to go like an add new. Now you just, like I typically steer away from here. Um, can get a little bit confusing with everything that, uh, you know, Russell has to offer there. So I just go to classic funnel builder, gives you this simple, yeah, simple one. Too. Me too, actually. Yeah. And then you go over, you just want to collect the emails. So that's the whole point of it. The whole point of the breakout code is this build and start building your audience. So um, we'll go choose. I'm just going to call a masterclass. Just while you're doing that, guys, if you have questions as we're going along, feel free to drop them in the chat box and we'll um we'll deal with them live, eh? So uh, while we're moving along here so we don't miss out on a particular point. I've got your um your affiliate request approved there too, Mark. Should have a link for it now. <coughs> So, just real quick, Mark said, do we do this as you go or is it just for illustration? So, right now, it's just for illustration, mate. We'll, um, this is being recorded, so we'll throw up the recording on the registration page once it stops um, doing its thing, you know, once it's ready to go. But essentially, you want to just watch what we're doing and get a good grasp of the concept and, uh, you know, ask your questions as you're going. But then you just want to dive in. But um, yeah, if you grab the done for you package, uh, all this stuff's already done. So essentially you still have to connect your autoresponder, but it's all, all the squeeze and all that's already done for you. Um, yeah, so what I found with an opt-in page guys, literally the more simpler that you keep it, mm -hmm. the better and the higher opt-in rate it is. Um, I don't know why, because I know a lot of people when they come across something, uh, they like squirrels and they get distracted easily. So, um, yeah, you want to sort of just keep it simple, keep it clean to the point. And this one's probably the best one that I've found that converts pretty well. So I'll be able to, you know, do that for you. And I'll just select that one. And the beauty about this one, it actually puts in like a, uh, you know, two step as well, which is perfect. You want to keep it the same funnel group. All right, so we're going to jump in, we're going to edit it. All right, so what do we like to do? So we don't want that. I want to, I want to keep it nice and white. I don't like the gray too much. All right, and then so what I'd like to do, I don't like it being too far down the page because I feel like it cuts off on the mobile version. So, um, I agree. You, it sort of drops down a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I like it a little bit higher up. Uh, so you can, you know, it's straight more in their face when the, when the page load, loads. Um, so it's just like little things like that on how you perceive when you come onto a, a page or when you're asking for information on something. Uh, sort of always keep in mind that if you're the reader, I feel like that's probably where I've done pretty well. 
because I try and think of, oh, shit, I'm just clicking on a link. Uh, this is what's coming up. And then if I see something like, you know, too far down here, I'll probably just exit out. So, um, so what we're going to do, so we go back over here. Okay, I'm just going to go. Oh. Test it now. Simple pack. So I'll probably just flesh something out and then I'll probably rethink it. Uh, some will hope that be used to... I always, <clears throat> always like to try and, if you can, if you're building like what James is doing here, is try and keep it congruent with whatever the headline or, or the USP is or the unique, <clears throat> the unique selling point. So for example, the breakout code is, you know, um, 150 grand in three months is generally the unique selling point. So, you know, if you can work something like that, um, always makes conversions a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. No, it definitely, um, it definitely helps. Like, for example, I think on, on one opt-in page that I used to use that was like really went well that I used for the lost code at one point is that I made up the things like simple, you know, yes, you can earn 500 bucks per week on autopilot. Um, and then next on the next page on the bridge BSL, where I go into a video that I talk about it, I stick with a point of how like, you know, side hustle um, banks 500 bucks a week on autopilot. Um, so it's, I think, and then that actually converted pretty well. And then you get their attention. Yeah. Uh, so it's just kind of keeping it relative to the offer. And I hope I'm saying your name right. Is it Alsap? Um, just drop me another message there, mate. I'm not quite um, grabbing what you mean there. I think you mean um, if you grab the down for your package, will you be able to drive traffic to the office? Yeah, essentially, once you're approved, yeah. All right, so we're just going to create, I like to create a little bit of a border. So it pops out a little bit more. Where are we here? Okay. Full border. Uh, no. What's the theme of it? I think this is like the color theme, blue. And this is all just look and feel stuff too, guys. You can, trust me, like James is doing here, you can fuck around with it for, you know, as long as, long as you like. You'll probably... Um, You'll probably never be happy with it, but you'll find that the uglier, the uglier it is, the better that it converts generally. I have, <laughs> no, idea. I have no idea why it just happens like that, eh? Yeah. Let me take, do that. We'll do a little bit of a, see, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, it's always playing around testing. Sometimes like it's like, ClickFunnels give you the opportunity also to, um, uh, what do they do? Yeah, give you the opportunity to like split test as well. So you can go and you can almost, you can duplicate this page and you can change it to something else as well. Uh, what have we got? A civil pack that will be used. There's something that doesn't slip right about that. It's weird. But yeah, fluoro never works, guys. It's too much in people's faces. They don't like it too much. Probably usually the more subtle it is, the better. Red can work, like like a subtle red, but like if you go too bright, it gets a little bit too much sometimes on the opt-in. Um, it's sort of like easing them into something that they're not used to seeing before at the same time. 
I don't know how's that look, Mark. <laughs> Works for me, mate, for um, example purposes, anyway. <laughs> Simple work. Simple pack. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I'll jump on that. Um, Altap, I think I'm saying your name right, said. Can you use Groove Funnels, for example, as opposed to Click Funnels? Absolutely. You can use whatever page builder you're familiar with, right? So that's one of the massive problems when you're doing a, a mass market product like what we did here, right? We could, like, well, we both are Click Funnels users anyway, but I've been users of everything over the years. And it doesn't really matter what we choose to show you on at the end of the day, someone won't want to use that or, you know, they'll have their preferred way. That's all good. Right. Um, and part of being an entrepreneur too, <clears throat> it's going to sound like a bit of a lecture, but we get a bit of stuff in the support box. Like, ah, oh, I didn't know I need click funnels. I want a refund. So personally, the first thing that comes to mind for me, and remember I'm Aussie too guys, but the first thing that comes to my mind is fuck off because, you know, as an entrepreneur, you sort of, you sort of like responsible for stuff yourself and you've got to figure it out. Right. So we provide it on click funnels firstly, because the share codes are easier and that's just what we use now. But you know, why, why can't you take the exact same thing and put it in the page builder that you are familiar with? Now, if you knew, just use ClickFunnels, it's easy. I know a lot of people seem to not like it. I guess it's the cost or whatever, but to me, the cost is nothing when you're running um, a pretty successful business. But, you know, it just comes down to what you're familiar with. But a squeeze page is a squeeze page, whether it's built on Click funnels, groove funnels, bloody, you know, whatever, whatever page builder you want to use. So at the end of the day, just sort of model what we're doing to work for you and, and your preferred way if you're going to do it another way. And, you know, just be hardy as a as an entrepreneur, you know, figure it out, dive in, figure it out, and you'll be, you know, so much better off for it, you know. Yeah, guys, like when I first started out, like I was literally finding a way, like I, I wasn't any much. I, I think I was, at one point I had like, I had two week trial with ClickFunnels. I had a hundred bucks. I spent it on the one funnel, funnel way challenge <laughs> and I learned how to build it. And then I got access to sell, like for example, the one funnel way challenge and I made it work. Like, yeah. um, like even, you can even, if you're a ClickFunnels user, you can get your affiliate link doing it. They pay 100% on the one funnel way and you make one sale and that's your ClickFunnels subscription pay for at the 97 bucks a month. Like I just made it work. Yeah. So, um, you know, like, and now like well, I stuck at it, you stick at it, you remain consistent with it and then you just, like once you do that, you get a flow and you start scaling guys and get cash flow. Like, the, the world's your oyster. Like you just just gotta stay at it because people. I think people just give up too easily. Hold up, mate. Um, Wade, is everyone else hearing us? Because Wade's saying he's struggling with audio. It might be on your end, Wade. Um, you might have to turn your volume up or some shit like that. I think everyone else has got us all right. All right, so that's <clears throat> Yeah, cheers, guys. So, yeah, can I so it's a simple pack that you be. Yeah, I mean, you've got to figure it out. So, I remember when I was getting started, guys, like these days, you know, in all reality, we talk about stupid, stupid numbers. Like, you know, the money we make these days is crazy, right? But 
you know, I remember when I was getting started as well and, you know, I'm a sort of country lad from, you know, country Oz and we didn't, we didn't have a lot to work with either. Like I remember having to like argue with the missus between buying, you know, a $10 product or, you know, just to try and figure it out. That was the things we went through back then. And like James said, you know, you, you work with what you've got to start with. And then once you find something you, you can scale up quickly, you know, like we might say, Oh yeah, like it's nothing for us to say, oh, I bought a thousand or 2000 clicks this morning or whatever now, but we clearly didn't start there. So, you know, you start, you start small and then scale as you go. If you're smart, if you're smart with your cash that you're making, you definitely want to reinvest and scale up, you know? Yeah, I was, I re, when I started getting a bit of fun, I reinvested 100% of the profits back into it. Yeah. I think it wasn't, once I started hitting probably about 10 grand a month, I um, I started pocketing a little bit for myself. Yeah. You know, so I was able to start, you know, taking the kids out to mm. wipe out on holiday or whatnot, so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, look, I'm a big believer in once you have your first little win, um, you probably should spend a little bit. And by, I don't mean everything, but, you know, you should go and make it real, like take your partner out or your kids, whatever whatever you want to do, whatever you're into. But then, yeah, reinvest, especially early on. But even now, I try and do 50% of my income. You know, it does take discipline, but I still try and drop. 50% of income back into traffic daily. Yeah. Yeah, like today, like I think I talked to Mark Hayden and his clicks are running out. So, yeah, I think I booked, I booked another 3K clicks back on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's addictive when it works. Yeah, oh yeah. No, it's, it's like you just got to keep it going. Otherwise, you want to stop, you just feel like it's... All right, so I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with this one. Um, we've got a caveat there. We will not spam, rant, or sell your information there. Um, generally, at the bottom there, I like to put my own little thing there. Like, we can't guarantee results, um, whatnot. So I might just put something down there just briefly for you guys. Yeah, while you do that, <clears throat> um, our chap has said, um, agree, and I'm all for paying for it. You know, he's saying... Um, just currently paying for other hosting and domains for something else, etc. Yeah, like I have, I probably have 30 or 40 domains I'm paying for, you know, and heap of them are doing absolutely nothing. But you say, especially once it takes off, you need to pay for tools when running a successful business. The thing about what we do here is I've ran, I've ran the business before on having 10,000 bucks a month overheads before I even start for the month, right? Now, with what we do here, you literally need click funnels and an autoresponder. That's all you need. So, you know, once your autoresponder gets up, you'll be paying a few hundred bucks a month there. But combined, probably for probably what, 120 bucks a month or something like that, you can have click funnels and your autoresponder going. And then all you need to do is dump your money into traffic. You know, it, it's stupid cheap when you think about it. Like, yeah. I'm a person that's owned um, local businesses too, guys. So I can speak to this a little bit, right? Um, everybody uses the analogy of like, let's say you buy a Subway franchise, right? So to buy a Subway franchise, for me, I've had cafes and um, takeaway stores and that type of thing or fish and chipper, depending where you're from. Now, just the purchase price alone of the cafe was 40 grand. And, you know probably about $3,000 a week in expenses before we even open the doors to make a profit. And, you know, it's not like you can just say, all right, well, fuck it. We're not, we're not profiting today. Let's, let's move on to something else. Like, you know, you sort of, you sort of got to dig in, but then at the end of the day too, this business here has always, always shit all over my local businesses for the type of money that it makes and yet it takes very little investment you know you don't have to spend 40 grand to buy a business here like all you guys have 
essentially bought and built a business with what you're doing here with the breakout code. It's, it just comes down to, I guess, fortitude and, you know, sticking it out. But then that's the thing too, because you are so little into it, it does make it easy to say, oh, well, Joe Blow just emailed me. Maybe Mark just emailed me about another promotion or James just emailed me. You know what I mean? Let's move on to that. But where you'll find success is, truthfully, no matter what you do, is list building is where you want to be at. But where you'll find success is just sticking one thing out until you're really successful with it. And then with the power of the internet, you know, it just, it, it really does explode once you get it moving. Yeah. <clears throat> so a bit of a rant there, but that's the that's the difference between what we do here and you know local businesses. I've I've done both, and I'll tell you this one's way more profitable and easier. Yeah, I think even getting a, getting a decent espresso machine would be looking about five grand just on that. Let yeah, alone. we were lucky. The one we bought already had it. But yeah, you're right. We we were talking to the people there um, to replace it. Would have been fifteen thousand dollars for the one that we had if yeah. it ever broke down. Yeah, true. All right. So uh, with uh, so we're just going to double check the mobile version is pretty important to because sometimes you can make changes to the mobile version that are separate to what's what people are going to see on the desktop. So we're just going to run over here. Um, so I probably want to change that a little bit. To, it's not too bad. I think that writing in there is, needs to narrow it down a little bit. So you can go over here. You can edit the mobile size here, guys. Um, I might just knock it down to maybe 14. It's pretty perfect there, right? So um, probably not too happy with how that set out. Might change the font on that just a little bit. Let's see what happens if we make it bigger. That's it. Oh, go back up. There we go. So it's always like just little things that can, you know, make someone change like their their idea of like, oh, I'm not going to submit my information. This looks a bit sketchy. It all, it all counts. Uh, but you just want to, you know, make sure it looks nice and simple. But you know, clear as well for people that want to, that might want to stick their email in. So I'm pretty happy with that right now. That I'd probably use that myself. So the next thing you want to do with the opt-in page is that you want to link up your um, order responder. Now I primarily use Aweber, as you probably saw on the front end of the training. Uh, there's also I use GetResponse as well as a backup, but I'll, um, we'll just go through with Aweber for now, just so you get the core idea of the integrations. So with that, I'm just gonna jump back out of here really quick, and I'm just gonna go into the ClickFunnels settings. Um, so make sure you save before you get out, otherwise you'll lose it. So we're gonna exit. And I'm just gonna jump over here to account settings. We'll jump down here for uh, integrations. Right, so as you can see there, I've got like got a disconnect on there, but um, I've already got Aweber here. Um, looks like it works. So I wouldn't worry. <laughs> it says could not connect your account. Don't worry, it, it works. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what that makes me worried there. So I might need to refresh it. But it's it's going there. Don't worry about that. I've, I think I pulled in like 400 leads today. So, um, so right now I'm going to jump back and I'm just going to re redo it again because I can do that. Uh, so you want to go up here, you want to go to add new integration. And I'm using Aweber. Yeah, I'm just going to call a nickname. I'm just going to go. Breakout class. So we just go connect integration. So that's that's my account there. That's my login, my password, allow access. 
So it integrates via the API. Um, now, with, um, I'm going to connect this one back up. I'm going to delete this one, but I'm just showing you an example. Uh, now, with Aweber, when you're starting out on a new list, um, with the API between them, with ClickFunnels, you just want to make sure that you contact Aweber support and just let them know that you want a single opt-in. You don't want double opt-in using the strategy we have uh, because it just doesn't it doesn't convert as well. You just want them straight into your list and then you can clean it from there. Um, but with this one, you definitely want to just connect call them. Um, you know, so this is the website and just give them the URL, the opt-in page, that's all you need to do. And they'll, without, without question, they'll just let you know and just say that you're just running some traffic from like AdWords or uh, Facebook or something like that which is pretty much where most solo ad vendors get their traffic. So, yeah, um, Altap, Altap just made a good point on that. While he is a new, uh, he said, I got Aweber is currently free for you. I think they did change to a free account too. I, they were a dollar trial, but he said maybe 20 bucks per month is need, if need is greater. Guys, for 20 bucks a month to be able to run a full-time business. Like here's one thing about list building, right? I didn't do it for probably 18 months when I first got into this business and I knew that I had to. And I bet you guys are the same. I can just about guarantee that none of you have a list, right? Now, think about your job or your business in general. When I when I wake up or, you know, when you wake up or James is still working currently, to make money, you know, you've got to like get up and go to work, right? Business is the same. You've got to get up and go to work. What do you do? You know, when you're new, you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I might check my inbox and see what's around to try and build something up, right? For us now, is get up, mail the list, what's on, let's send an email, you know, and then if you, when you're doing well, you can be done for the day, literally schedule up some emails, right? I've had enough of today, let's go and play COD or take the kids out or whatever it is for the day, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I definitely got some discipline for myself coming up soon because I've just put in my two, like, I put my two weeks into work, so... Finally. <laughs> yeah, good on you, mate. Is, is Andy here? I started 180 subscribers. Woohoo. Yeah, baby. You know, 180 subscribers. It's not a lot. Probably when you send an email, you're not getting a lot of opens or clicks, but it's a bloody good start, mate. It shows you how easy it is. Just keep doing it. Simple as that. Yeah, mate. Oh, that's a good start. And what have you got? Um, just a quick one here. Mark Robertson's got, have I got 100% commissions? He says um, he's in your mastermind. So does he get 100% comms or something you're doing there, mate? Yeah. No, he's, um, no, yeah, he gets, he gets, them. he got yeah, the right. license for it. So, yeah, I talk to him up, yeah. So yeah. I'll bump him up. Yeah, sweet, mate. Unless you want to do it, but yeah. Yeah, I can do it now if you want. All right, so we're going to get out of here. It's not really I'm not looking like this. It's not good. All right, so we want to look for a decent thank you page. Um, just trying to figure out which one that's on. You want a simple ESL. Trying to remember where it is. I think it was in uh, is it the order form? The webinar, thank you. What are you looking for? Oh, okay. Here we go. I no, found it. It's all good. Yeah, um, yeah so we're currently we're doing the, the the bridge page. So the VSL that goes from you know opt in to um over to the next one because you sort of you need to warm them up before you hit them on the sales page does everyone understand what a bridge page is it has you know it has different names but essentially it's just it's a page we're putting in between the opt-in page and the affiliate offer that's where we're going to put you know generally speaking a video if you can do it you know a bit of pre-sell stuff and then put your affiliate links on that page on the bridge page can yeah. it also call a thank you page, stuff like that. Just trying to find the template. We, we call it a bridge page because essentially 
while we're running paid traffic, it, it's essentially a bridge between our opt-in and our affiliate offer. Yeah. This one here. This one's a pretty good one. Yeah. Nice and clean. All right. So you've got to do desktop only there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, sometimes the when it's got desktop only up here, guys, on the left hand side, it means that the formatting and the on the pay on the desktop and the formatting on the mobile version are completely different. So when you make a change in this green element here, um, that change won't happen on the mobile version. So I'm going to show you how to change that. So you want to go over here to the settings button. Um, and then you want to, sorry, you want to do, I'm very perplexed. All right, so we just click all. <laughs> I don't know why it's saying that. What the? Mobile only. Maybe this wasn't the best example. <laughs> Yeah, let's get out of this one. I don't like it. And guess what, guys? As you can see, just because you make six or seven figures <laughs> a year <laughs> doesn't mean you still don't have fuck ups or tech glitches. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. never ending. Never ending. All right. Taking a step. If it's if it's ever gonna happen, it will happen live, mate. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All right, so we've got So it's basically going all over again and finding another one because that was a shitty page. Yeah. It wasn't great, was it? No. Alright. Alright, so I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna grab one on my old ones. Um, this one, I think this one I gave away in the front end, but I'm going to change it. <clears throat> I just said, while I'm thinking of it, guys, I'm getting affiliate requests binging in here. I want to give you an example of what not to do, okay? So these people are new, as are you. You know, as a vendor, we see all your stats and everything, like your whole lifetime stats. So you can't really hide anything, right? I've got two notes here from two new people. One said, want to help promote. <laughs> That's the whole note. The next one says, I want to promote you a product professionally. You know, like... Like I know, like that person's clearly not a not a um, native English speaker. But when you're new, you want to be real with vendors. Okay, the best thing I've seen this week is um actually a lot of people are doing uh, YouTube uh, reviews, which is a fair bit of effort to go to. But you know, if you're really struggling to get approval, it's about what you say and just be honest. You know, put it in the box. Hey guys, you know, I am new. I'm, I'm building my business up, building my list up, et cetera, et cetera. Name drop if you have to, you know, if you've got coaches or products like this, you know, learning from the breakout code doesn't always guarantee you approval, but at least be real because at the end of the day, you haven't got a chance of getting approved if you say, hey, I'm going to promote. And I've got, and, and the other ones you get, I've got a million subscribers and I'm the best marketer in the world, but you've got zero sales in your Warrior Plus account, you know? Yeah. It's stupid. Like, it's just not smart. Remember, you're running a real business with real people at the end of the day that, you know, at the end of the day, you can't promote shit unless you're getting approved for it, but they're real people. If you knew, tell them you knew, you know? Because they can see it anyway. Uh, so I'm putting in a little bit of a headline at the top of the page here, guys, because 
Some people um, don't check their emails uh, and it helps with the, uh, you know, people, because sometimes like it, it may go to spam, it may not. Generally, if, you, if you've got a good email, they'll hit the inbox, it won't, and I'll show you a bit later. Um, but you want to get their attention at the top of the line saying, oh shit, they sent me an email, I want to go check it out. Um, so that means, you know, when they, they like, if they, for example, if they look in their spam box, uh, you know, they can pull it out and they can put it back in the inbox and open it. So next time you send them an email, it will go, it will hit the inbox for the deliverability. Um, so you, you, the first thing that you want to do is you make them aware before you get into the video or the pitch here, you want to make sure that then, you know, know that you send them the, the email. And then we go to check the inbox access. And then we just go, please check spare box and then I'm going to make this nice and pretty <coughs> while James is um, just knocking that out if you just want to let me know in the chat box how many of you have actually made your first sales online um, and how many of you are still waiting for the guys that we've got on? Like, let me know where you're at with it, and I'll, yeah, I'll give you some advice there. Andy's got a few good stuff. How'd, how'd you get them, Andy? Warrior Plus, yeah, just promoting, like I sort of meant, how did you... Um, how did you get your sales? Was that from your list there, mate? So with your 180 subs? Is that actually your 180? Is that using the breakout here since you bought it or? Oh, yeah. Looks well, a different method. So what I would say to you there, Andy, is um, the fact that if, you're, if you've got a few sales, you know, whether you're profitable or not, I don't know that yet, but if you've got 180 subs and you already got a few sales, that right there tells you that um, what you're doing is working, yeah? So then it's just a matter of ramping it up, you know? my In my mind, the one thing, the one thing that has never, ever failed me is building my list bigger. You know, that, that's without a doubt. The, every time I build my list bigger, I make more money. It really is as simple as that. So, you know... That tells you right there, whatever you're doing, do more of it. Make it bigger. Because it's addictive, that shit, eh? There's nothing, there's nothing better than seeing those sales notifications smashing in. See if I can find a better background here, guys. Uh, good stuff, Altaf. Got the um, lost code reseller rights. Well, we know that that converts. Yeah, we both know it pretty well. Don't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good money off that, mate. Um, would be great if I could get your reseller to promote. Yeah, you can, mate. Just um, hit us up if you didn't grab the license rights, or maybe with this we can do it for you anyway. I think Mark had a, what's Mark doing? Uh, Mark, mine has been disastrous. I've made $1. Well, that's better than zero. Let me say that. Anyhow, started in April. I'm trying the Facebook organic for high ticket, but everyone is doing it. Also, everyone is earning 10K plus a month, hoping to get out of it by doing the breakout code. Right, so I hate organic traffic, mate. I hate not paying for traffic just because I'm a paid traffic fan, right? Um, I know it costs money, but at the end of the day, you got to look at opportunity cost as well if you've been going since April. But trust me, a lot of people have been struggling for years and never yeah. make any money, mate. So, you know, if you've been started in April, you're not going too crazy. But, you know, since April, James probably made... Uh, I don't know how to guess 50 to 80 grand since April. So, you know, the point is sort of, 
I would say build this system and then get rolling and sort of make your cash there. He said the 10K a month was a joke. To me, 10 grand a month, that's what everyone sort of wants to hit. Like um, if you're, you know, if you're hitting 10 grand a month, profit is the key word there, then you're doing pretty well. You still want to have a traffic budget, but anybody can live very well off 10 grand a month. But if you can do 10 grand a month, why not do 20, 50 grand a month? It's all the same shit. It's just bigger. Yeah. Like, and um, like I think, Mark, with your high ticket, mate, you've already added stuff in your arsenal as well. So you've already, you've got it there. Um, mm. So it's not like it's, you know, it's gone to waste. Like, yeah, you, you probably haven't, you haven't converted one yet. Yeah. But like, trust That's me, like, a- that is a great point too, mate, is um, is about, you know, James is saying you've got an asset there in a high ticket offer. Um, and I look at that too with experience, guys. So like, you know, you might have bought other products and shit over the years. And even this one, even we know percentages wise that most people won't run, won't do this product for whatever reason. But it all adds to your experience and your knowledge over time. And before you, before you know it, you know, you'll be smashing, um, smashing good cash, but you've got to be ready for it though. And Andy's got getting ready to make a large traffic run for breakout code, but I wanted to make sure I knew how to manage the emails in Aweber, the tags, lesson help, good shit, Andy. Um, what I would say is, uh, talk to me about how big of a, what are you talking about, a large traffic run? I assume you've got some cash there ready to roll. Um, when you're testing a vendor, mate, I wouldn't mm. book any more than maybe like yeah, I was about to two, say. three on your clicks. I would just see how they go first because the worst thing you want is booking a thousand clicks. Like, or I don't know. Like I tested Wayne Crow for like, like 100, like 200 clicks before I booked a, like a thousand click run with him, you know, so a fifteen hundred click run with him. Um, I go on Udemy. Uh, Udemy is a great place to go test traffic. Um, you can tell by um, filter because Udemy has a, a filter that they use to weed out, you know, dud traffic. So, um, and I've used that. And then my, if I, if the filters like literally like like weeded out traffic's really low. Uh, I, I generally sometimes because you can get you can probably shouldn't say this but you can um, contact the vendor on Facebook. Don't do it in Udemy because Udemy tracks all the private messages. Yeah, you'll get banned. Otherwise, you get booted. Mm-hmm. But uh, just con- see if you can get hold of them on Facebook. And then they usually sometimes if you have a trusted seller, you test them with them plenty. You can go with them and get it for about five to ten cents click uh, per, cheaper per click. Just use the guys we gave you in the um, in the little black book, guys. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's that's where I go. And Andy it's said, "Yeah, five hundred is is large for me right now." Yeah, Andy, you know, you're gonna need to build it up, mate. But what I would say is five hundred clickers there. Split that up over two vendors. You know, I like to. I like to test a thousand clicks, but you know it's expensive. You're what four or five hundred US bucks. Um, depending on who you're buying off, you know, some can be seven, eight hundred bucks, but it's, big, it's, not big. It, it's all relative, you know. Yeah. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Andy, um, learning Google AdWords and sending traffic from there. See, that's a that's a whole different ball game, mate. I know that it works, but to me, I'd rather just run solo ads because we know what we're doing, and you can say whatever you like in the advertising. But it is a good skill to have loaded pay truck. Alright, so this is not much this is not much different to the one that I had run to the lost code there for a while. Our taps asking about what the upgrades are. So they're pretty explanatory, mate, but uh, the cash on demand is basically the swipe emails, okay? So you know, swipe emails that we use to basically just send out, you know, both um, follow-ups and broadcasts to make money. 
I'm adding in a timer here, guys, to create a bit of sense of urgency. That that worked really well for me. Yeah. Um, Scarcity. Exactly. So usually this one's a pretty good one. It's nice and clean. Um, 30 minutes is a good one, but I like to jam them, so 15. So if you're gonna, um, sometimes I like guys. I recommend when you're running traffic, you, um, it is to create your own video, review video, and stick it in here. Mm -hmm. um, just go, just go through the product. Uh, I think the one I did for the Lost Code was like I was in the car driving, and <laughs> no know, way. it was <laughs> terrible too. By the way, <laughs> I was. I was watching it when I was running and essentially it was terrible for what you were doing and yet yeah. look at your results, man. So the yeah. point there, guys, is don't freak out about doing a video because it's it's easy. Yeah, it wasn't great, man. I did that on the wind on like the way to work because I needed to put something in there. Yeah, happen. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could tell <laughs> it was one of your first ones. So that's the thing too, guys. You get better at this stuff as you go as well, but... It's just about putting something there because especially in the solo ad world, people don't see re real people. They only ever see pages and all this shit. Like they, it's very unusual for someone to, you know, come in and say, hey, you know, blah, blah, blah on camera and that it builds up a lot of trust. So you got to remember too that these people are complete strangers that are coming over to check out your pages here. So you know, it doesn't hurt to say it's very, very simple. Say, hey, g'day, my name's Mark. You know, I've been really enjoying this product, Lost Code. Here's what it's about, blah, blah, blah. Go check it out, you know. We'll give you some bonuses if you do. Simples. Yeah, so usually, like, if you offer a good bonus or, you know, you can grab a bunch of products that you've got bonuses from before. Um, yeah. Like I know that we give one away. I think there's a bunch of bonuses that you guys can use in the, in the front end of the breakout code if you guys want to use those. Yeah. Just jump onto those. Um, I think in the dump view, we, we provided one as well. Um, we also have JV ones. Did we throw the JV ones in there anyway? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah. I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think you did that. No, well, not me, Vicky. I outsourced it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just bring that up a little bit. You kind of want to keep the button close to it. You want to try and keep it all on the same screen, if possible. That's not what I want. I think it's a uh, different. Um... Yeah, it is. It's not a different. Yeah, button. it's on your box. There you go. A little closer to the top one. No, should be right. All right, so I'm just going to change this. Blue doesn't really fit this color. Hyper blue doesn't fit the color screen. I'm probably just going to make it. Uh, there we go. That's a bit better. So, all right, so I am. Um, like to keep it, you know, simple. So I click here now, get, I uh, will just say, I think this button works pretty well. Yeah. The breakout code. I know where that comes from too. <laughs> oh mate, I think about 5,000 different JVs you've written. Yeah, you know who started it, don't you? Yeah, I've got a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he knows his shit. Yeah, he does. Add VIP.
Oh, hungry. Must be breakfast time. All right, so we're just going to jump into some proof now, guys. Uh, we'll just check the mobile version of it and see what it looks like. Uh, probably just shrink this a little bit. I like to jump back and forth on it. Uh, and I, I'm a person that gets a bit lazy when it comes to looking after the mobile stuff, but mobile is where a big majority of the traffic is at the moment, so... Don't get like you with it. All right, it doesn't. All right, good. All right, so. I like to try and keep the button in the same one on the page. I'll at least have it stick in there a little bit. Oh, that's a good move. Fix the formatting. Mm -hmm. Little things, guys, always happens. That, that size, and then you all want this to come down to 16 on a mobile. All right. The buttons. This one needs to come down. There it is. All right. So I'm going to see if I can bring this video up closer to my volume a little bit, which I can't. Can't do the bottom of that. There we go. All right, cool. So this is what you see on the mobile, guys. So they see the click here now function, the call to action. Um, that's pretty important. All right. Uh, Random little box in there. Yeah. Proof. Load the video. I'm just going to add some examples of proof to you guys. We can't use the same stuff, so I'll do the original. Right, so we've got. There, I'm going to get a couple of singles, single columns. Element. All right, so event quickly go. Check out the results with the breakout code. Hold that. And then I'm going to stick underneath that. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to my affiliate stats, and I'm just going to get, for example, the last week. You know, keep it nice and recent. Um, Let me touch on that too. So, a bit of an issue for you guys is James is grabbing stats from what he's been doing as promotions, okay? but it's perfectly fine for you to use the proof that's on the sales pages for an offer. Um, so let's say you're using the, you're promoting the breakout code. You can perfectly go and steal the, um, well, it's not steal, but you can download the images off our sales page and use that proof as examples, okay? Because it is legit. So that's yeah. fine to do as well, but only if you're using it to promote that one offer though. That goes for whatever you're promoting. So there we go. Just do that. Grab the screenshot. I had a great snipping tool too. It was a little, um, 
You can see there's an old one. I'd like to get the date in there if I can. And I'll probably just do the first week. First full, first week, but I'll actually just do that. That Vicky Bay must be a gorgeous sort. Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone asked me for years why why my username is Vicky Bay, right? You know why it is? Because you know your wife's name is Vicky. That's well, right. yeah, but back in the day when we're, you know, on the Warrior Forum and that, I um yeah. I had one for mine. I got my account banned. And I'm like really? Oh fuck! I want I want that. So I ended up putting one under the missus's um thing, and that's what she had. Vicky Babe was her email, so we just went with that, right? And then I started like launching and all that sort of shit, and it just sort of stuck. And then it got to we were too successful. I didn't want to change it, you know. Yeah. So it's just one of those things that's just stuck over the years, eh? Hey? Alright, we're gonna add the image there. There you go. Now we want to sort of accentuate the image a little bit. So we're just going to put a border around it. So, you know, dark. There we go. You want to make it a shadow. Uh, no, I don't want that. Yeah. Even I've learned some stuff watching this. <laughs> That's good, mate. Right? It's like click funnels 101. I just called Nikki. Hey, build this shit for me. There you go. All right, cool. So there, and then we'll just get a couple of other things as well. We don't really need to go too far into the proof. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Um, so for you guys, whatever you're promoting, if you promote the breakout code, just rip over to the sales page and grab the proof images off the sales page. That's perfectly fine. But as long as you don't say these are my results, you know, you can do in your video, these are what the guys have been doing with the breakout code, not what I've been doing. See subtle differences in the wording of it. Yeah. We'll get into bear with us, guys. This is a little bit um, time consuming, but it's important to build the skeleton because this this is what will like essentially make the difference to you making good cash or not. Um, but we'll get into some traffic in that shortly as well. Yeah, a lot of people like to see social proof that something actually works. Yeah, and that's where a lot like you know you get you build that trust. I found that has been pretty, you know, important, and I just built it that way. I think it was even time I like, I got like, I was pretty excited, but that I earned like two hundred bucks off it. So I bought a few OTOs on the lost code, and I mean, I was like, I screenshot that so quick and put it on the page. I was like, <laughs> man, I still get excited if I make two hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty grateful that I'm just like today's a quiet day for me, so I was just like. Yeah, uh, today today would be quiet. That's that offer we hit last night didn't do real well, man. No, nah. I think three, sent three emails and I made three sales, which is not very good. Yeah, I think I'd be about the same, to be honest with you. Uh, we were advanced. Advanced. And that's the other thing too, guys. Not every not every product converts. You know that's why. You're lucky we're showing you a couple that are converting with, you know, real stats here, but we still test other offers and sometimes they tank too, you know. We'll promote an offer, yeah. do absolutely nothing on it. Happens. Uh, where else can I get some more here? Ooh. 
would you like that guys to have four and a half grand just sitting in your balance ready to be withdrawn to your bank <laughs> another five grand pending what's that lazy 10 bangers yeah be I pulled, I pulled four grand out today too. did you <laughs> more money than sense you can't <laughs> thanks mark <laughs> that's a that's an Aussie compliment. <laughs> my grandfather's the same thing, probably. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my old man gives it to me all the time, mate. Eh? More money than sense you can. <laughs> uh, this might not fit on there too well, but it should be should be wrong. Right. I'll put a button down below there so it fills out that before I can. <laughs> Mark, it'd be amazing. Stay waiting for you, buddy. Stay waiting for you. Yeah, mate, just stay consistent. You're saying a one dollar sale was yours one more. I was like I think my first one was like a two dollar sale or two dollar seat cost per action. Like no one even bought anything. It was just like a free program or people like it was a um was it Unla? Yeah. Two dollars first thing is yeah. Or some bloke over in uh Bangladesh yeah. that signed up to it. <laughs> right, where are we here? Good old Yanla. We started that too, eh? Yeah. It's good, um It's actually good to have on the on your exit pop, so eh? Yeah, it was. Actually, remind me to have a chat with you later about, I saw a post about another one like that, a 60 cent one, so we'll see whether there's any merit to that. Drive you down here, move that area up. All right, cool. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that's an old logo, but I'll change that out later. I'll just delete that since I'm just sharing it with you guys. Um, all right. How's that look pretty good so far? Yeah, mate. Looking good. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that in a sec, um, Mark. All right. So save that. All right. So I'm just going to quickly over, jump over. The most important thing is to make sure that you have your affiliate link in the button. Otherwise, I'll just never get to the sales page. So I'm just going to jump over here. I'm going to grab my affiliate link. Still haven't put a bonus in there. Should do that, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't care, man. Look, if you can run six grand at it with our bonuses, whatever works. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I advertise bonuses on it. Yeah. Um, all right. So, we'll put it in there. All right, guys. So, a little trick that I do as well that you that can help you get a few extra clicks is to embed the affiliate link in the proof. Um, I found that sometimes when you've got small font, some people like to click on the photos, mm -hmm. and it takes a good sales page. That's a that's a little hack there. Might be worth a few grand to you over time. <laughs> yeah, probably has to be honest. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I'll delete those elements. Oh come on. Alright. Alright, sneak. Alright, so that's the bridge page done, guys. We just need to stick a video in there. Um what should we put in there for now? I actually use the sales video from the breakout code to put in there. It's worked quite well. Yeah, it's been sold with the beard already before they get on the sales page. Yeah, it's beautiful, that beard. So I've been here. <laughs> All, right. All right. So our tap is I'll LED. Plug I'll plug it in before I give it out. But yeah, we'll, we'll, put the, the, we'll put a video in there for you guys as well so you can just start running with it. Um, Uh, 
Nah, got you approved there. How tough. Good to go. That's so, all right. Next, guys, is now we've got that all going. There you go, there's Mark and Mark. Six. So this looks pretty, I think, yeah, something like this actually works quite well, guys. So, you know, it videos, it's supposed to have complete newbie, and then it's got the, it's already got social proof on the screenshot. And that's, let me touch on that too. See what James has just done there, and a lot of newbies don't want to jump on video. James has just literally gone and grabbed the sales video for the breakout code and thrown in there, and it's working really well for him. Like, he is actually doing that. So, um, there's a quick little hack there for you. It doesn't work for every product, but for this one, it's working okay. Yeah. We just have something like this as well. Like, I think Mark and I tossed it up a lot, didn't we, between whether you jump on there or yeah. we get it, you know, professionally animated or done or anything like that. We just prefer, you know, full transparency. Yeah. I think that's probably why the breakout code did so well. Yeah. Uh, and it's something that I've been doing for years too. Like I always, always struggle with wanting to know whether to do it or not. Um, but, you know, the proof is in the pudding, like without tooting our own horn, that worked pretty well. I think even we, I particularly put that thumbnail there of that part of the video as well. And it just yeah. works, but I just have a knack of just, you know, just being straight with people. And it's always sort of, for whatever reason, converted very well over the years. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I've got the affiliate link in there. Now we need to join them up. So I'll get out of that. Save again, just in case. Just in case. <sighs> All right, so the next thing you need to do is make sure you connect the opt-in page to the, uh, start the bridge page. The, yeah, what's uh, that, we... mate? I've I got the same thing on the um, on the actual funnel. What's that Vimeo shit that says need verification? It just comes up on the edit page. I think it's more of a restriction that they do when they... Um, it's just not here. So I guess when yeah. you start the screenshot, it's just, it's just what it does. But That's it'll why... Work. Remember I asked you why, if the VSL was working on your end before we launched, that was why, eh? Yeah. A bit weird, eh? All right, so we're just gonna go jump over in the opt-in again. Go to edit page. Now you wanna go down to general. Go submit, go to. Go to. Make sure there's no Spaces. Now guys, on the opt-in page, you want to turn the affiliate badge off on ClickFunnels um, because you don't want them clicking. Like some people might see a badge there and they might go, ooh, ClickFunnels. And I think I've probably got a few trolls out of it to be honest. But <laughs> because I've had it there, so I turned it off because it takes it away from the whole point of people signing up for this. Yeah. So just make sure you click hide, then click out of there, click save. Now. I've got, I've still got to do the integration. So you want to go to integrations, the settings, and then you want to go down to uh, this one here. That's my active one. You want to go to integrate to existing form. Uh, and then you want to go to pretty yeah, lost code list. So when I was running the lost code to it, but now it's the breakout code. So that's my list, guys. That's the list that goes to all my solo traffic goes to. Um, and then we'll get out of there. That's all saved, connected. Make sure you click save again. All right, and then we're gonna get out. 
And here we go, test it. All right. Beautiful. I'll just use that email, just, just make sure the button works. Beautiful. All right, she's working. All right, and then we make sure that the button works. So it goes over to my affiliate link. And then we're back. Here we go. And she works. All right, sweet. So you guys, make sure you change out those affiliate links once you grab hold of this funnel. Uh, very important to do so, because yeah, I don't want to sort of take the sales. Um, we well, don't need them. Uh, I'm good. Just making you guys, making sure you guys get them. Mm. All right, so now, now we've got that done, you need to build a, um, uh, you've got a welcome email. You need to start a campaign. Um, so I'm just going to go through quickly on how to, you know, just start one on Aweber. So you just want to go to like the campaigns. And then you want to, so this is mine, that's my welcome one. I keep it separate to the, the main one, to, to the campaign, which activates a day after. But, so you, what you want to do is you want to create a campaign, uh, create a blank campaign. Um, if you guys picked up the, the done for you, or even in the, um, in the front end, I've given you guys some uh, swipes that you could not actually use. Uh, ranging from the first day through to day three, so you can plug that in. Um, but right now, I'm just teaching you how to actually get it started in here. So you can basically, if you want to grab those swipes, they're already available for you in the dump for you, and also in ca uh, cash on demand, you can use those. Um, so we're going to create a blank campaign. All right, so now we're going here, you all go to welcome to campaign editor, go to, you want to click on on subscribe. So that's when you want to start. So the first thing you want them to do is just to, um, I usually have mine sent straight away. Uh, yeah, sent straight away. All right, so you want to create a message. So, and then you want to go drag and drop. Right. So, sometimes I use like to use emojis because it gets their attention. Nice something green and bright. Um, so this one's always a good one. And funnily enough, I feel like this one works well for solo ads because I get like a 30% open rate on the solo ad campaigns, not too bad at all. Yeah, it's really good. So approve your movie hack access. You also want to make sure that your subject headlines congruent with your sales page so they know what you're talking about, where, where it's coming from. Let's go here. Now, you want to remove this because we're not collecting any first names. I know, I just go as promised. I'll change the font here. Please see below via the link your access to the hack that Yubi used to generate over 150k in just four short months. Go here to access. 
but I keep that at 16. And then you want to hyperlink your affiliate link here. Like I've had no issues with Aweber with the affiliate link. Like I, when I use it, the raw affiliate link on it, so I've never had any issues with them. Yeah. Um, some people I prefer to use the Cloaker. Um, you can use that. There's Bitly. There's um, a whole bunch of them that you can use. Like Clicker. If you want to track it, you can use Click Magic. If you're using that. But that is paid, um, but yeah. Cheers, James. That's it. Simple, done. Keep it relatively short for the first one because you want a good click through. Um, if you have a book, they probably won't read it. All right, so we'll go save and exit. All right, so now that's happening, you want to go. You guys, once you email, I'll just, sorry, I'll, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So when this happens here, when they click on open this email, you want to add an automation to make sure that like, you know, to clean out your openers from your non-openers. So you want to select a trigger. And when they open the message, you want to add a tag. All right, because I found this to be very good to maintain a healthy relationship with Aweber uh, because sometimes you can get dud emails and if you keep sending emails to those that emails, um, you could get your account banned uh, and whatnot. So we just don't want that. So um, how I, because I go through so many leads now um, and you guys don't have to do this, but I clean out, I remove any one that doesn't open my email after two weeks. So if they haven't opened an email up for 14 days from me, I, I clear them out because they could have gone to spam it could have been marked all the way. It could be undeliverable, um, whatnot. So it's just, I've found that it's just the best policy for me right now. Um, but, you know, just to make sure you just maintain a, a tag where, you know, they automatically mark engaged. So they're pretty much engaged once they come in. Um, and then you go apply. And then there you go. So once they open up that email, they'll be marked as engaged and then we'll go save and exit and I'll show you where you can find them. So you can go to manage um, subscribers. And I want to create a, a, a new segment because I'm due to do it actually. I waited until tonight uh, to show you. So we're going to go to um, so I'm going to go to here to see if I've got any undeliverables. I deleted them earlier. Yeah, see, so guys, like you get idiots that put shit in like that, really. So you got to delete them out really quick. So they're subscribed for some reason. I don't know why it didn't come up, but that should have marked been undeliverable like 10 days ago and it wasn't. And then um, some for some reason iCloud doesn't like me, but that's just, I think it's just their filter settings. So I delete those out. Just get rid of them. Um, now I'm going to jump over and I want to view the tags. So I see that I've got a few here. So now I'm using at the moment because I've I like to make sure that I consistently refresh my engaged list. I've been through. I'm on my third cycle doing it. Um, the first one. I did, um, and then the open rate started to get lower because that does happen when you start emailing the people um, uh, three to four times a day, they kind of stop opening. So what you do is that you start creating a new tag for about a week, and then you go here. So this is what happened with me. Uh, I created Engage 3 as a refresh, and now that I've got, I think I've got a fair few in now. Uh, tick over. 
All right, so now I've got over 16,000 subs there that are engaged. Um, now, at the moment, I'm hitting around about 12% open rate on average. So, so what you want to do is that you want to, uh, so um, what I do is I, I'll click that, select all subs, and then I'll just go, um, I'll try and keep the naming convention the same. And then I'll go three, go engaged, or uh, if you also engaged, and I'll put 817. I click save. So now when I go out to send a blast, um, which is where you go to, uh, go to this way. Go to create a message. Drag and drop. And this is where you can sort of send out uh, a bulk email to your subs. So you, know, you can just do something like um, your... Hey, buy this shit. <laughs> right? So, hey, buy this shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, so, your commission account is uh, your commission account. I've always wanted to test that as a headline, man. Me and Paul used to joke about it and say, hey, buy this shit and see whether they actually would or not. I feel like I want to do that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it I think it'd work all right, eh? Truthfully. <laughs> Especially for the Aussie Aussie crowd anyway. <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna go in here. Um, short and I like to try and keep it short and sweet on these ones just to get the click through up. But we'll just go. Okay, you haven't activated your commission generating account. Um, Fuck, I need to go back to this, it sounds to me. Sorry, mate. I need to go back to bed, but it sounds to me. <laughs> <laughs> Please see that this is. The early bird pricing is about to expire. Um, hundreds of people are making. Over a hundred bucks per day, which is not a lot, but it's true. Um, please activate your account here. It's pretty simple. Yeah, cheers, James. All right, cool. So that's a, um, and you want your affiliate links. Pump that out and see if you can make sales live for the class. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just get sometimes like even a mate like headlines without the emoji works too. Like you get a bigger open rate, I found too. Yeah. Just hope it doesn't hit the promo box. Yeah. That's what I worry about sometimes. I just like Yeah, Vicky's doing all my mail and she cracks it when she hits the promo box, eh? <laughs> You know, technically, you can send a test, right? Yeah, no, I do. Every time. Yeah, do you? I have like five emails. True, true. Different email accounts that all got pretty strict promo boxes. So when I get all five going through, that means it's good to go. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to send it to my... So this is where you can go in here. You can go into um, the segment that you just created. 
And then you go here, chloride, and then uh, I don't need to add any tags because they already got the engage there. And I'm just going to send it. Well, I'm due to send something out anyway. Yeah, it's been 30 minutes. <laughs> 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 so yeah so that's it guys that's that's what that's pretty much the process from where to go um now we're just gonna sit back and see if it actually makes us hard but um yeah that was yeah great. so that'd be cool to see if that that part was just a broadcast to his list that he's already got going but you'll get to understand that too guys it'll be good um, see all that automation there, I'm using GetResponse now, but even on my Aweber account, I've never done that, man. So that's some really good tips there, actually, um, with all your tag automations and whatnot. But what you will want to do is we will put the, re uh, the replay up. So if that's a bit over your head, don't worry too much for now, but um, go back and watch the replay a few times and you'll grasp it. It's just, it's just helping his deliverability there, really. Yeah. Because the autoresponders, um, once you get into it, you'll learn that they'll there's like there's different classes they'll put you in. So you know there's a lot of a lot of different ways to get inboxing and like essentially at the end of the day, the more opens and clicks you get, the more money you make. So you know you'll always be doing battle with your autoresponder. But what James just showed you there is probably the best way to make sure he's delivering to the best subscribers that he's got basically. Yeah. And uh, I learnt that trick off a mate of mine. Um, Mark Hayden, he's one of the, actually he's one of the recommended sources of traffic in the little black book. Probably almost like he's number one, I believe. Yeah. So um, he, he taught me that and um, oh man, like I've had, you know, I haven't had an issue with any autoresponders since, um, especially Aweber. Like, uh, even Aweber did go into my account and they put me on review for three days. Mm. Uh, they took, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So, so I was just running off sales for, for broadcast that I sent like three days ago. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, um, can you do something similar with GetResponse or not? Uh, yeah, you can. I might have to dig in and have a look at that. See what I can do for you guys. It's a bit. What what order are all you guys use while we're having this chat? I have both Aweber and get response. Aweber sort of old. Where James is saying here's what you don't want to do with it. Um, that's what I've been doing with it. <laughs> yeah, all the guys are going with Aweber. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to go. I. I personally think it's a little bit better than get response for whatever reason. I don't know. It's just your own preference, really. <laughs> All right. So segments, this is where you can sort of do your segments. Um, so you want to just go into search, you got to go to advanced search. And what are you looking for? Mostly made openers and clickers and that sort of yeah, stuff? Yeah, mostly openers. I just got to admit, I haven't done it in a hot minute. Um, because it's turned in my backup now, just in every day with them. Bag scoring, contact actions. Message open. There's something weird. Yeah, they make you. Sometimes they make you select. No. Emails, contact details. Sometimes engagement score is a good one. Yeah. Um, generally, if you go to equal to like three bars and above, which are probably because I haven't really hit this list much um, lately. Mm -hmm. I 
probably don't have many out of, yeah, exactly. So, because I, I haven't done much. So, 523 emails I could probably put in there as a condition. Yeah. And I could save as a segment. Cool. And you go select all, save a segment, and you can do like, you know, engaged, okay. um, 817. Cool. It's the same principle, just different autoresponder. Easy done. Yeah. Like, you can. Um, you can use tags, so when they do open, um, I don't think I've created tags yet, but on the pro version of GetResponse, uh, you can add tags and automations. Yeah. So that generally does help. Cool. Um, so I think I'm just going to have to build and do it so I can get, you know, for those that are using GetResponse, you know, you guys can do it properly. Yeah. I don't want to leave you. Lead you down the garden path. Most of our guys here are on Aweber, but sure there'll yeah. be people watching. All right, cool. Yeah, so that's, yeah, so segmenting is probably the biggest, you know, list building, the, the most efficient list building um, tag that you have because I'm going to go back into Aweber, go back to my subs, and I just literally, you know, email. Mm -hmm. So I go usually like date avid and if I go uh, is before, so usually I maybe give it like three weeks for this one, two, four, about four weeks for this one. That's a bit more than four weeks. That's the day, 17th. Yeah. That's the bit. August 17th. All right, so date added. And then you want to go to uh, no opens since. I'll do that as an example. Probably have a few pop up. No subscribers match the search. Okay, that's weird. Maybe I'm on it. <laughs> it's a good problem if it's legit. <laughs> yeah, no, right. It's not it's a bit weird. Let's try this. There you go. So I am on it. <laughs> so yeah, so these guys hey haven't they've opened up an email for me in about was it three weeks? So I'm due to clean it out, you know, just delete them. I don't unsubscribe them, I just delete them. Yeah. Because when you unsubscribe, you start getting a, you know, a high unsubscribe rate, even though it's user generated. So I prefer not to do that. And if they want to, you know, subscribe again later on down the track, then they can re-engage. But... Yeah. All right, so we get the idea there. As I do it on one, get it done. All right, so. So what he's doing here is getting rid of people that haven't opened for three weeks, guys. So I know it looks a little bit scary, but um, it's actually better for your autoresponder health to get rid of people. Um, you know, if they haven't opened something in three weeks, especially when you're smashing emails four times a day, then they're not gonna. So just get rid of them. Yeah. All right, so yeah, I think that's about it, mate. I think that's that's from where to go. That's how you do it. So yeah, like um, I know that fits in. Like I think uh, who was it? Oh, two said mentioned about the customer upgrade. Well, what we got there, mate, is a bunch, I think Mark already answered it. But we've just got a bunch of swipes that you, you guys can use. Um, you know, that could basically can help you convert your lists from you know cold traffic into buyers you know start you start getting some commissions going in and they do work mm -hmm. um otherwise we wouldn't have put them in there so definitely give them a run um i think um majority of our guys want to see how the traffic portion runs mate how solos work oh, yeah. and that sort of stuff yeah. all right this is so, this is open cookies Once my internet wants to load, still there. 
Yeah, we haven't got your screens off though. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> with this, um, I've got some traffic running in here at the moment. Um, I'll just jump into my orders. So this bloke actually provides pretty good, decent traffic. Um, don't as you can see, don't share him for Christ's sake, guys. He's one of our secrets, this fella. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't share him around. Keep him to yourself, eh? Yeah, he's ours, boys. <laughs> anyway, and as an example, Good. so um, because it's the traffic, any traffic that I'm running on here at the moment, I used, did use test this guy. He wasn't that great. So yeah. um, this guy was pretty decent. Um, yeah, I think I put him in the black book too. So any yeah. guys, guys, you got a couple of little gems there. Yeah. So I'm just going to go in here. Um, so this bloke does a lot of like solo traffic. He runs it off like hot and his email list. He's probably the, probably the, one of the, um, he's always, like, I think he adds like nearly 2000 leads a day to his list. So it's always fresh traffic. Yeah. And, and it just buys through. So like I use the filter, I, I stay on Demi with this guy. Um, he's, you know, he's built clicks are a little bit high, but he brings buyers to the page so hmm. you know i think it's, it's worth doing that and i use click magic too um to track it i get sales every time i use him oh mate it's just picked up ever since i started using it again yeah so and you know with the with him so you can just go in here and he's like in the solo solo deals and i think i put his um link in the black book too guys So does everyone understand what you're doing with traffic? You understand the premise, like the basics of it, where you're sending it and all that type of stuff. So I'll just go down and I'll just go to your sales page and I'll show them. Mm -hmm. Once I find it, you have to scroll a fair way down and find it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it costs 50 cents a click, but it's pretty much worth it. Yeah. That's expensive on you to me, but it's not really expensive for... Other I never really look at like cost per click to me doesn't doesn't mean a lot. It's more about once you test them like that, the sales rating, you know. Yeah, so like you, you look at like repeat orders, twenty three percent is pretty high. It's almost the highest on your demo. You got fifty five percent sales rating. So just remember, guys, very like, um. Ha always have a look at people, like look at the sales rating, but then look at the ratings when, on the actual page when you sort of give indicatives. They've got a sale. Um, model was delivered. Like, I don't know if he actually got a sale or not. Um, this guy, Wayne Brooks, got sales, tons of sales, which I did. That's me. Um, got a sale. Great solo ads with this guy. So we don't know if he got a sale there or not. Uh, this guy was honest, no sales, um, multiple sales. So you guys, so this one you, you can, you know, but buy. You also, to add to that as well, you also don't know what they're promoting. So, you know, we know what we're promoting converts, but you know, you get a general idea, but sometimes like some of these customers might be run into a high ticket offer or, or a piece of shit offer that doesn't convert stuff like that. So you get a good indication, but not like not everybody you can go off. If someone says, oh, I didn't get any sales, it may be their offer more than the traffic, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, what you do is that like probably for you guys, if you're starting out, if you've got low rate clicks, um, I probably, ClickFunnels has an okay tracking. You can get a bit of an idea of where you're at in terms of opt-in. Um, if you can use a, you know, a, like a, a, a tracking software, it's more preferable because you'll be amazed at how much money you save on um, 
from sort of like weeding out bad solar providers. I wish I got onto it earlier, but um, I started using it around about three months ago. And man, like I've tested again, like 150 clicks here and there on blokes that I was using like all the time. And then I just went, oh man, what happened here? So <laughs> you're just guessing, eh? That's what I do pretty much. When you're driving that much traffic, like click funnels just can't keep up. Yeah. So um, it's best to use like a tracking app, which is what I've done. Um, so if you just refer back to the front end, which, and I'll go through it here quickly again, it won't take too long, but um, there's a video in the front end of the breakout code where you'll be able to see me going through and creating a tracking link, how to create a pixel, where to stick the pixel um, and go from there. So um, Mark's, uh, Mark's actually got a pretty good question here. He's saying, um, are we just promoting the breakout code for now? And how soon do we scale up? Um, yeah, well, I would just stick, you know, promote the breakout code now, just using the pages that you have on hand. Um, so the short, the short answer to that is you can promote whatever you like. Um, but the reason we say the breakout code is because we know it's converting plus it's ours so we can get your approval and guaranteed plus you've got all the all the done for you stuff there to match it yeah so that's the reason why we're saying the breakout code but whatever you pick it doesn't really matter but you want to stick with one offer so you can sort of optimize your funnel around promoting one offer as opposed to promoting something different every day yeah when you're building a list too, Mark, don't send solo traffic to a high ticket offer. Yeah. Um, I feel like that probably just, you'll be lucky to get a sale. Um, that's why we sort of like going through the process that we have. It's a good, I think this is probably one of the best front end strategies that you could use. Um, and then, you know, going down a little bit down the track, you can like stick your link in and like promote the higher ticket offer to your list. So if you're like, for example, I think you're with me with like the super affiliate accelerator with Jacob Harris. So maybe like a week down the track or something like that, or a few days after they're subscribed and getting a bit of a, like a following, um, you can put the link into his, you know, to get a free call with Jacob, you know, if, if they're interested in that sort of thing. So that's a good way of doing it. It can be like a back end offer on like after you sort of getting into your list on this. Um, in terms of scaling up, um, I've found that when I started out, I was, I put aside, uh, I bought a hundred clicks each week um, because I had a tight budget, but I made it work. hundred clicks each week and that's how I built up. And then as soon as I got a payout on the sales that I made, I just dumped it back in the traffic and then I kept the same and then I kept the same momentum, still did a hundred click, you know, hundred clicks each week. Um, and then, you know, and then on top of that, I had the budget that I had with, um, that I got from the payout from Mario Plus after once the funds got past a certain like release date. So, you know, and then, then you start building up from there. So, and then you really start building cash flow as well. So that's that's that was part of my. I think it's. Um, I think I've also put that strategy in the um, in the front end too. I think it's just a bonus in the front end of the breakout the PDF yeah. file on how how to you know scale up and then put in fifty percent of your profits going forward. But yeah, uh, I did that in my last product as well. Like that's. For me, a hard and fast rule. If I can stick to 50% um, reinvesting, like that's that's nowadays, and we're talking about making thousands per day. But if you can do that, it rolls well. But everyone starts from scratch. And what James just said there is excellent is, you know, most of us are grabbing money off our credit cards or our wages or whatever to get it started, which is what you need to do. Um, but, you know, he's talking about, what, spending 40, 50 bucks a week, which is pretty good. And then, essentially, he scaled very aggressively. So, he reinvested everything back in. Um, and if you can do that, especially early on, you just, you're just going to set yourself up for a fair bit of success. So, a little bit of discipline with your cash coming in um, 
will pay dividends for a long time to come. Yeah. And I was asked about, yeah, we'll hook is all up with um, license rights to the product. Okay, once we jump off the call, we'll, we've got all of you there, so. Yeah. We'll hook you up with 100% across. Makes a big difference. Yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah, just like um, on the, for example, with this one here, you just want to get your opt in page link um, if you're just starting out, guys. So, just grab that and then you go in there and you put it away over here. And you just go here. <laughs> So he's got 125 clicks available for 19th of August. That's his minimum, always has been. Um, and then you just go to add to cart. And then there you are. And then you just make your purchase through either PayPal, you can use your Visa. Um, I go through PayPal because I just like the security of it as a buyer. So, yeah. Alright, let me just go home. I'm probably wondering what's going on. If I put a different link in there. It's alright. We'll give it a test and see how she goes. Why not? Why not? There you go, guys. Live purchase. I'm sorry, I go to the page that I just made. It is as easy as that. Alright, so you'll probably wonder what's going on. Different link. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys. So that's that's how you look sort of look for a buy. Like just look for a good high of sales. Go through the actual reviews. Uh, people are pretty honest when they actually get a sale. Um, see, Glenn's not bad. He, he's pretty good. I've got him too. I use him a fair bit. So yeah. So he, he looks like he hasn't got some sales there for a bit, but he does have get some pretty good leads. Like it's really also how you connect with people. You just gotta remember a lot of these people probably don't they probably send it to like an MLM or something like that as well. Yeah. Like a, yeah and they're very new, you know, not a lot of not a lot of successful marketers run solo ads to the level that James is doing here and I've done in the past as well. And because truthfully, you'll hear a lot of people say that they don't work, but they just don't know how to make it work. That's the difference. Yeah. And don't stick with it. Even successful guys do that. So, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just see how that goes and see if we get it that's pretty much it guys, set up your page, run your traffic to your page, collect your leads, mail them, make commissions, pretty simple. You guys got any more questions? That's pretty much all we had to show you, eh? so yeah, any questions guys, hit us up, but this sort of, the, the main principle about it is, you've just got to build, build your bones out, build your machine, um, and then just start running traffic, whatever works to your budget. The one thing I can guarantee is, especially if you go and use people like we're telling you to start with, like Angelus and guys like that, um, you know, you will see success. It's just, it's a matter of time and patience and keep digging in and you will see the success with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I just like, like I was, you know, I was lucky enough to get 30 bucks in a day and then, you know, or 20 bucks here or there or, or whatnot. So, you know, it was still something. Um, but, yeah, but once you get that, once you start being able to scale up and whatnot, like, you know, you get more sales in, you know, your affiliate score goes up, you'll get, you know, more and more, um, yeah, just more and more, like, offers to promote and, yeah, you'll just really be able to, get some more traction and get used to a good flow process. <laughs> Mark, 4 a.m. Uh, looking forward to it. It's 4 a.m. here. Well, so where is he? Must be in the UK or something. 
So finish yep. off course, drive the traffic, hopefully be in profit by the end of the month. The organic stuff is just painful for me. Scotland. Yeah, awesome, mate. Yeah, like, that's all there is to it, mate. You know, finish off a course, build your, build your funnel out, make sure you've got it all sorted there. You know, if you need help, obviously, by all means, sing out. Um, and then, yeah, drive the traffic, whatever's in your budget, man, and just get going. Simple as that. Yep. Andy, you're sharing the pages you just made. Um, that's pretty much what you've got in and done for you, isn't it, mate? Yeah, that's all right. I can shoot. If they want the pay, if they want the funnel, they're more than welcome to hit me up. Yeah. Um, just send, you know, them, send James. Yeah, but if, they, if they're in the Facebook group that we've added to, they're more than welcome to hit me up, or we can, or just shoot me an email. Um, for those that are still on, you're all on one. I mean, your email list. You would have got a couple of emails from me, mate. That's the email. That's my best email. So just hit me up. So I'll. I have the share codes for the quick funnels and we'll do it. Yeah, it's only, only a matter of grabbing a link for you. Yeah, that have to be on quick funnels, so obviously. Can you stick a link in here without getting in trouble? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You guys just make sure you save this. I'll leave it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a with Zoom. You can do whatever you like. You made as long like because we're paying customers, so yeah, you can throw links to whatever you like. There you go, guys. Just grab that, click that link there, guys, in the chat box, and that'll get you the funnel we just built. Yeah, be an auto down. Right. My mum wants to visit Scotland, actually. Actually, beautiful. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going over there. I haven't been over to England yet, believe it or not. Nah, me either, mate. That's um, that's probably our next big trip, actually. Yeah. London, Paris, and all that shit. <clears throat> right. Did you guys grab that link? I'm gonna make sure. Everyone happy? No further questions or anything like that? Obviously, guys, we're via email, so... We do get hammered via support, but it's one of those things you pay special attention to the guys, you know, like names that we associate with on like, you know, calls like this and guys that ask, you know, solid questions, like sort of get priority. If someone comes in being a dickhead, like, you know, they tend to tend to get the old old Aussie support, but you know, by email you got when you get our broadcast, you got both our best emails there. So just reply to it if you need anything. Yeah, exactly. All right, that's probably about it, is it? Yeah, that's about it, mate. We'll wrap up, um, <clears throat> guys. Very simple. Thanks. So again, thanks for jumping on the masterclass. Um, we were, you know, really enjoyed putting this product together for you, but. At the end of the day, what we really want to see is you guys succeeding with this method. You know, this is what we do day in, day out. I'll be jumping off the call and setting up a new funnel for myself as well today, doing exactly what we just showed you. So hopefully you can see the transparency in what we're doing. That was the importance for us with this product. Um, you can see that there's no bullshit. You know, James is standing 100% behind his results, showing you his accounts. It's all legitimate. So at the end of the day, you just got to dig in and do it, guys. And, you know, once you do, um, you'll be making, you know, 10 grand in a week and trying to, the biggest problem you'll have is trying to figure out where to spend your money and pay less tax. <laughs> it's always a big drama. <laughs> it's probably my next issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody tax, you, man. <laughs> Bloody tax, man. But, yeah, guys, that's, so that's about it. So thanks, Eves, for joining. And, um, We'll um we'll talk to you shortly and Mark go to bed mate. It's four AM. Hope you don't have work to go to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Thanks Cheers, very much. We'll chat soon. <laughs> oh, sorry. Good man. We'll work on your damn funnel then. Thanks guys, we'll talk soon.